Hey, welcome to the Electron X Lab. In this video, I'm going to look at a few examples of sinusoidal signals that are phase shifted from each other and do some calculations or do some inspection to figure out what the phase shift is between those signals. So this first example, fairly straightforward. What we're looking at here is magnitude on the y-axis and, and phase in the x-axis. And you can see over the full 360 degrees, these two signals are, are, are in step with each other. So if signal A is sine 2 pi ft, then signal B is, well, we know from we can see from inspection, the peak of it is 1.1, 1.1 sine 2 pi ft. That one's pretty straightforward. Example two here, again, amplitude, y-axis, phase in the x-axis, and we can see that they each reach a peak at a different time. And signal A, which is the blue one, crosses the zero axis at time zero here, at point zero. And signal B crosses the, crosses the zero point of the y-axis a little bit later. And we can see that it's 10, 20, 30, 40, that would be 50 there. So that looks like 45 degrees. So the phase difference between those two is 45 degrees. And so if A is equal to sine 2 pi ft, then B is equal to 1.1, there's the difference in the magnitude, times sine of 2 pi ft plus a phase shift. Because B is, is lagging behind A, it's minus 45 degrees. But in reality, to make this, this equation work, that 45 degrees should be in radians, and which would be pi over 4 radians. So in this case, A is leading B by 45 degrees, or by pi by pi over 4 radians. Example number 3 here, you can see that B is leading A by some amount. And let's see what that amount is. Well, B is crossing the y-axis there y equals zero act point there, and a is crossing there. This is at 150. This one is at 180. So there looks like a 30 degree difference between the two. I'm just, I'm just looking uh, down here on the x-axis, 150, and this point is 180. So a is sine 2 pi ft, and b, again, 1.1, sine 2 pi ft, and it's leading by 30 degrees. So we can indicate it that way. But that really should be in radians to make that a proper, equa proper equation for figuring out the sinusoid, um, and that is pi over 6. Okay, example 4 here. Well, it looks like A is not exactly sine 2 pi ft. It actually looks like it's lagging that by a little bit, and it looks like it's lagging by about 5 degrees. So for the proper equation, we should put in the radians value there for 5 degrees. And B is sine 2 pi ft. And it looks like it's lagging by 10, 20, 30 degrees. And since ne neither one of these is actually exactly sine 2 pi ft, there's a phase shift from that, from that baseline phase shift between the two of them is actually 25 degrees. Okay, in this example here, it looks like B is leading A by a certain by a certain amount. And one thing I need to point out on here is that I, we're no, look, no longer looking at degrees along the x-axis. This is actually in time, in seconds. So we need to take that into account when we're calculating what the actual phase shift is between the two of these. So if we look at the point where they each cross the, the y equals zero line, looks like this is at point three for sinusoid B and point five for sinusoid A. So it looks like B is leading A by 0.2 seconds. But that doesn't tell us what the equation would need to be for, for these sinusoids. Uh, well, A is simply going to be sine two pi ft. But how much does B lead A by? Well, it leads it by 0.2 seconds, but what is 0.2 seconds? If we look at what a full waveform is, so starting here, going, going back to the beginning, so there's one full cycle, takes one second. 
So we're going 360 degrees or two pi radians in, in one second. And if we have 0.2 seconds that B is leading A by, that's 0.2 out of 1.0 is equal to how some number of degrees out of 360. And if we solve for X here, we'll find that X is equal to 72 degrees and something in radians as well. It's a, that's a pretty easy calculation. We can do the exact same thing. We could do 0.2 over 1.0 equals X. Let's go Y over 2 pi and solve for Y. I'm not going to do that. I can let you plug that number into your calculator. But we see here X is 72 degrees. So if A is sine 2 pi FT, B is equal to 1.1. There's the magnitude difference. Sine 2 pi FT plus 72 degrees. And again, that should be in the, the radians number for the proper equation. Now we've got one more example, example six here. And we can see that a full cycle, if we look at what a full cycle on this one is, again, along the bottom here, this is in time and seconds. And one full cycle is 0 0.016 seconds, 0 0.0167 seconds. And, and I chose this because this, this is a 60 hertz signal. So if we look at the difference now, the time difference between a and B, and we can see in this one that A is leading B. We've got 0 0.0083 and 0 0.01. Actually, it's probably easier if we go back and look at the beginning here, where A starts and then where B starts going positive in the positive direction across the y-axis. This is 0 0.0017 seconds, and actually 0 0.00167 because there was some rounding here. And so that is indicating that we've got 0 0.00167 time difference here out of a 0 0.0167 total. So that fraction, 0 0.00167, is the phase difference out of a total 0 0.0167 time. This is 0 0.1. So what this is telling us is that B is lagging behind A, or A is leading B by 0 0.1 of a full cycle. And we know that a full cycle is 360 degrees, or 2 pi radians, so 0.1 of that, one-tenth of 360 degrees is 36 degrees. So A is leading B by 36 degrees or by 0.2 pi radians. So hopefully that helps you figuring out what the phase shift is between sinusoidal signals, whether you're given those signals in degrees or if you're given those signals in time. You now have some examples that can help you figure out what the phase shift between those signals are. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.